hello guys welcome back to this channel and thanks for viewing this video today we will discuss on the java matches method which is a method we can use to check whether a string matches with a specified substring and this method will return a boolean value uh, whenever it is executed it will return true if there is a match between a given string and then a specified uh, substring or string and it will return false if there is no match and i'm also going to show you how to check whether a portion of a string is um uh, is matching with a specified uh substring so let me show you how to use this method with the help of an example so i'll write string i'll call this string variable str and then i'm going to give it the value of uh, coding river and then le next I'm going to call my method so I need to write the system and out that print line and inside here I'm going to call the method so I'll say str that the name of the method as matches and uh, inside the brackets i need to write the specified substring so i'm gonna write code in review like this so what is this is going to do is that it's going to check whether the string variable i'm passing as my parameter here is matching with the string value stored in str if i run i will get true okay so this means that coding river is the same as um, the value stored in my string variable str you will see that if i remove river for example and then run i'll get false because coding is not actually the same as coding river so the string is coding river but not coding so now this is going to lead me to show you how you can just check whether uh, coding is part of the string variable str, okay? And uh, so how to do that is by adding these brackets that star before the word coded and then after the word coding as well. So brackets that star like this. So what this means is that it's going to check whether coding is part of the string variable str. Okay. And uh, the brackets that star here would uh, signifying that maybe before the word coding, there is another substring or after the word coding, there is another substring. Okay, so if I run, I'll get true. Okay, so true because coding is actually part of the string variable str. As you can see, there's a word coding here. So I can remove this and uh, run, I will still get true. Okay, because before coding, there is uh, no substring. So that's why it is still re uh, returning true. If I uh, remove um, this star uh, brackets that star here uh, and run, I will get uh, false. Okay, false because actually, as you can see, after coding here, I have a substring. So I definitely need to uh, specify this expression here, the brackets, that, and star symbol to make sure that um, the method to will know that after the word coding, there is a substring. Okay, so this is actually how you can check whether um, a portion of a string is matching with a specified uh, substring or oh, I can give another example I will change the value stored in 
SCR, I would say I love programming, okay, is what is being stored in STR. And uh, in here, I will say, okay, I want to check uh, just a portion of this um, of this string. So I want to check if the substring love is part of this str string so i'm gonna do it like this if i run you will see that i will get true so love is part of the substring if i remove this like this and run i'll get false because actually before love there is a substring okay so I definitely need to put that if I remove these uh, symbols after love and then run I will also get false actually because after love I still have some um, I have a substring so guys that's how you check whether a particular string matches with a specified substring and you can also check the portion of that string to see if um, it matches with a specified uh, substring uh, so i hope this video was informative and thanks for viewing please don't forget to comment if you have any question um, and uh, to also like this video and subscribe to this channel so let's meet in the next video um take care